So Alex, uh, outlook for the season, you know, how optimistic are you? So just talk about how things came with the team heading into the year. Uh, we're all really excited, you know, coming into the year. Obviously, you know, we haven't lived up to our expectations the past year, but we got a lot of new guys, new head coach, you know, so everybody's pumped. Gino's you know, bringing a lot of, you know, motivation to us and making us work hard, so really excited to get into it. What's Gino's message already been to you guys just heading into practice number one here? He just he wants us to get better every day. He wants us to work hard. He wants us to be vocal. He says that we, we haven't been a vocal team in the last couple of years, you know, really quiet, really laid back, and he wants us to just be more aggressive and, you know, kind of just have fun out here. Hitting's been an issue the last couple of years. Um, you know, what signs are there that it could be better this year, and, you know, how hard are you guys working that? We've got to really work every every day, you know, a couple hours a day maybe, you know, all of us are out here on our own. We're out here late at night, you know, besides, you know, the practice that we do with the coaches. And, then, you know, Coach Lopez has introduced, you know, new hitting ideas with, you know, we're, we're hitting a lot of machine, a lot of velocity, you know, a lot of vision training, which is pretty cool too. And I feel like that's going to help us out. What's the vision training? Uh, we got doctors that come here from Baskin Palmer and, you know, we just work on for our eyes, like, like certain drills they have us do, it's hard to explain, kind of like odd drills, but like they really, you know, get you focusing on that little small thing, you know, picking up spin on the ball, stuff like that. Alex, the summer for you and also the fall, uh, just maybe the strides you felt like you made during that period since the season ended. I, I worked a lot this summer, you know, obviously my freshman year was not what I wanted it to be, you know, as a personally and you know team environment so I feel like I had to work extra hard this summer you know I went to where I went this summer and did a little fixes in my swing a little change a couple of things that I you know coach Lopez wanted me to work on as well as Gino and I felt like it's helped me out a lot. With those changes you made did you see did you see the results over the fall uh, or was it still kind of still working on things did you see some strides over the I mean, they, they came and went, you know, sometimes I, I felt like I was going really good and then other times, you know, it was like kind of just get lost in the process, you know, you know, the results weren't going to come right away, but if you did these changes in the long run, it's going to help. What was the biggest adjustment that you had to make last year, obviously? You said you didn't have the season you wanted. Was, was it tougher than you thought? Yeah, I mean, it was coming into my freshman year, I didn't expect to struggle the way I did, but I felt like it was good for me, you know, I got to experience the first, you know, struggle of my life and mentally I think it really helped me out, you know, and it's going to make me a better player in the long run. And this year, uh, you see it a different way going into it? Yeah, I'm, I'm more open-minded to things now. I know if, you know, a struggle hits it a little bump in the road on a weekend, I don't got to worry about it because I got a game on Wednesday and I'm ready to go as well. Like in high school, you play one game a week, two games a week, and you're like, dang, I, you know, I really struggled this week. You got multiple games a week and, you know, we're going at it hard really every day, so. Let me, let me ask you, how much pressure, I know a bunch of you freshmen were counted on last year. How much pressure was there on you guys, and how tough is it to, to play with that pressure? You know, you always play with pressure, but it's different when, when there's a bunch of you guys playing for that. I mean, I guess some guys might have felt pressure, some didn't. I, I guess we just maybe were a little bit too loose with the way we played. We were kind of just going in there expecting to, you know, how we did in high school and just take over the game, and obviously the game sped up on us a little bit. And, we really were laid back about it, and this year I feel like we're, we're more aggressive into that stage. You know, has like made us a little bit more of a motivation with his, his talks to us, just the way he goes about practice and everything. It's more like fast pace up to like a game speed. Having said that, uh, how, how much of a leadership role do you think you can take on now, having gone through that struggle last year and knowing that you know what it takes to, to win at this level? I feel like I can play a huge role in the leadership, you know, component of this team, especially with the younger guys. I know some guys are going to struggle throughout the year. You can talk to them, you know, bring them out. You can just take them out to dinner, you know, talk what's going through their mind, you know, what what their expectations are. You know, I went to dinner with Chad Moore last night. We talked a little bit about, you know, how he's feeling about practice, you know, going into the season, you know, get get those conversations out of the way with now. Having said that, what are the expectations from this team? I know last year, obviously, you fell short. That can't feel good. That had to sit pretty bad with you guys over the summer. Yeah, it was nasty feeling in my mouth. I got to admit that one. But uh, like I said earlier, we got a lot of changes this year. You know, new coach, a bunch of new freshmen. We're a young team, but I feel like we have a different sense of urgency in our in our game. You know, more motivated out on the field. The guys are hitting late now. You know, we got a group of like ten guys coming out to practice and getting our own work in. You know, more sense of like a family. Everybody's pulling for each other. So I like the way it feels going into this year. In terms of those freshmen, you keep talking about which ones have stood out to you. Uh, we got we got a lot of freshmen, but you know in the fall you saw Del Castillo really tore it up. Slade looked good on the mound. JP looked good both ways, hitting in. 
know, on the bump. So we got a lot of guys that could really impact this team as long as Chet hit like 400 in the fall. So a lot of guys that could really impact this team.